In the last lecture, we completed continuous and discrete time signals. In this lecture, I will explain how to add two or more continuous time signals. We add the amplitudes of two or more signals at each instant of time to get their sum. This point will be more clear when we solve one example. And let's say the first signal, the first signal is x1t and the second signal, the second signal is x2t and we have to find out x1t plus x2t and let's call the resultant signal x3t. So x3t is equal to x1t plus x2t and to find out x3t we have to add the amplitudes of x1t and x2t at each instant of time. Let's start with time t equal to 2. When time t is equal to 2, you can see x1t, x1t is equal to 0. So x1t is equal to 0 and x2t, x2t is equal to 2, x2t is equal to 2 therefore x3t is equal to 0 plus 2 which is 2. One more thing you can observe signal x1t is 0 when time t is less than 2 and it is greater than 1. So instead of writing t equal to 2 we can write t less than equal to 2 and greater than 1 and when this happens x1t is equal to 0 you can see x1t is equal to 0 and x2t is equal to 2 x2t is equal to 2 and x3t is equal to 2 when t is less than equal to 2 and greater than 1 now we will find out x3t when time t is less than or equal to 1 and greater than 0 x1t is equal to 2 you can see x1t is equal to 2 x2t is equal to 1 therefore x3t is equal to 3 2 plus 1 is 3 now we will find out x3t when time t is less than or equal to 0 and it is greater than minus 1. x1t is equal to 2. x2t is equal to minus 1. Therefore, x3t is equal to 1. 2 plus minus 1 is equal to 1. Now we will find out x3t when time t is less than or equal to minus 1 but it is greater than minus 2. Signal x1t is equal to 1. Signal x2t is equal to minus 1. x2t is equal to minus 1. Therefore, signal x3t is equal to 0. Now we will find out x3t when time t is less than or equal to minus 2 but it is greater than minus 3. Signal x1t is equal to 0. You can see it is equal to 0. Signal x2t is equal to 2. Therefore, signal x3t is equal to 2. Now we can easily plot the signal x3t from 1 to 2. x3t is equal to 2. From 1 to 2 x3t is equal to 2 this is the waveform of signal x3t from 0 to 1 x3t is equal to 3 from 0 to 1 x3t is equal to 3 and from minus 1 to 0 x3t is equal to 1 from minus 1 to 0 signal is equal to 1 and from minus 2 to minus 1 signal is equal to 0 from minus 2 to minus 1 signal is equal 
to 0 and from minus 3 to minus 2 signal is equal to 2. So from minus 3 to minus 2 signal x3t is equal to 2. So this is the complete waveform for signal x3t and this is what you will get when you add signal x1t with signal x2t. I hope this is clear to you. If you have any doubt, you may ask in the comment section. In the next lecture, I will explain how we can multiply two or more continuous time signals.